Young Me, manager of the Henley Resource Library at Ridley Tree Cancer Center. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to evaluate health information you find online. So let's get started. Welcome to the incredible internet. We live in a digital world. And while the internet can be a wonderful source of information, not all the information on the internet is good information. Bad health information can be misleading and possibly even dangerous to your health. The key is to be an informed consumer of information and to view what you find with a critical eye. Let's start by doing a Google search for lung cancer. In less than a second, we have 242 million results. And take a closer look at the first three. You'll notice that they're marked as ads. That means the owners of these websites paid Google to have their website appear at the top of the page. Now, that doesn't automatically make them unreliable. You'll often see nonprofit organizations or healthcare organizations promoting their websites. And they're often great sources for information. But it does demonstrate why it's important to be alert when looking at information online. So how can we determine which of these millions of websites have reliable, accurate, and safe information? It's as simple as asking yourself, who, what, where, when, and why? Let's start with the who. We want to know who runs the website and who pays for it. When looking at a website, look for an About Us page to learn more about who is in charge of the website. This example is Medline Plus. Its About Us page tells us that it's run by the National Library of Medicine, the world's largest medical library, which is a part of the National Institutes of Health. Other websites may be funded by a pharmaceutical company. The information may still be good, but there's also the possibility that they could be biased towards using their product. Is it a personal blog? Personal blogs are a great way to connect with other cancer survivors, but the writer may not be a reliable source of information. Keep in mind that every patient's situation is unique and no two diagnoses are exactly the same since no two people are the same. What does the site say? This one is pretty simple. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Dramatic health claims, phrases like miracle cure, ancient remedy, secret ingredient, are red flags because unfortunately they are more often than not scams. Check to see if their claims are backed by research or see if you can find the same information on another reputable site. Also, be wary of ads that are posing as a news article. These look just like a news article, usually featuring an interview from a doctor and quotes from happy patients but the fine print at the bottom will tell you that it's a paid advertisement. Where did the information come from? Websites can get their information from a number of places. Reputable websites will often list the sources they've used at the bottom of the page. Articles published in medical journals is a common source as are other websites. Is the name of the author listed on the page? Are they an expert in this topic? In this example, the author is not listed, but it does show that the content has been approved by an editorial board. Clicking on the link shows us that their editorial board is comprised of medical professionals who are experts in the field. This tells us that there are qualified, knowledgeable people keeping an eye on the content of this website and the organization overall to maintain a high level of quality. When was the information posted? Is it up to date? Most good health resources will have a date on each page that tells you when it was last reviewed or revised. You want to make sure that the information you're getting is current. This is important because cancer information 10 years ago can be very different than cancer information today. And you want to be sure that when you are making decisions about your health, you are using the best, most current information available. And last, we have why. Why does this site exist? Is it to sell you something? Or is it to inform and educate? 
This question is really important because you want to make sure that the information you're reading is unbiased. As a reminder, discuss information you find online with your healthcare providers if you have any questions. They can help you determine whether the information you find is accurate and applicable to your specific situation. At the Henley Resource Library at Ridley Tree Cancer Center, we offer research assistance and can help you find information about a cancer diagnosis. Our lending library has books, CDs, and DVDs on a variety of topics related to cancer care. If you want to do research online, our info guides are a great place to start. These guides contain links to recommended websites and videos, along with highlights from our collection and other supportive care programs at Ridley Tree Cancer Center. If you would like more information or have any questions, please contact us. We're here to support you through every step of your cancer journey. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and be well.